Hey guys, I'm trying to do a quick tutorial here on the Munters unit. This is that target project where on some of these units we're, we're calibrating the little limit switch on the desiccant wheel. And they're also having us uh, rewire some switches. The part of the video I'm going to try to get to today is the desiccant wheel. When you guys have to test run that desiccant wheel, instead of putting tape on the switches, and being in here with that blower running because you're kneeling right in here there's a much safer way of doing this that i found turn the power to the unit off here come over to the io flex board in the control panel and here on the io flex board guys is the on off switch turn the on off switch off come over here to the board and sorry i'm trying to get my screwdriver I've worked on this unit before guys, so I've written this in here. Uh, 2CR is the relay that energizes the drive motor that turns the desiccant wheel, that, that red belt, the drive motor on the other side of the unit. So here's your control relays. Here is 2CR. Here's the wire for 2CR. You guys notice the little tab here? I'm, gonna try, I'm trying to do this with one hand. I don't have anyone with me today. If you put your screwdriver in here guys, you guys can see that you put your screwdriver and kind of bend up and the wire will come out again I'm trying to do this with one hand everyone I'm gonna to have to set my phone down here in a second you're gonna take this wire from the this is a normally open contact this is a single pole double throw contact this is the normally open position so normally the controller energizes this relay the little light comes on here closes this normally open contact and sends power to that drive motor and you're just going to move the wire back here to the normally closed position so it's always going to have power on it i got to set my phone down to to deal with this little spring loaded thing so bear with me okay now i've got that wire in the normally closed spot in the back back there guys you see that now if I turn the power to the unit on, you guys see that wheel's turning already? That's about as fast as that wheel turns for anybody that hasn't worked on these. You're also hearing this actuator drive for the bypass dampers. There is the little finger, it's already went past. I'm not going to wait the six and a half minutes for this thing to come all the way around everyone. But here's the little switch that they're talking about. You guys hear that? Without the blower running, you can hear that switch when it clicks on and off, on and off. It has to, it has, the wheel comes by, that finger goes up, it has to click, and then after it goes over the hump, it has to click back down again. And every time it does that, it sends a signal to the controller that the wheel has turned within the time limit. That's, that's where you get a wheel failure alarm, guys. But this is a much easier way of doing it. Now, if I need to make an adjustment, simply turn the power off. Again, the blower is not running. The door's not getting sucked in. I don't have tape falling off pin switches. I make a quick adjustment. Turn it back on again. I can see what happened. Shut it off. Adjust. It's a, it's a much quicker and safer way of doing it. Don't forget to move your wire back to the normally open contact position when you're done. And turn the power back on on the IO Flex. Make sure your back view comes to life. Call FMOC. Make sure the unit's running. Run it through its tests. Uh, Again, guys, my unit is 2CR. Most of the units I see here in Minnesota have been 2CR. I've been using this trick for a while now, but it's on the print on the back of the door. So make sure you check your print, find the relay, make sure you got the right pin, the right wire. Quick and easy way of, of uh, testing that desiccant wheel and making adjustments. That's all I got, guys. Hope that helps. Uh, Merry Christmas, everyone. Ho, ho, ho.